1. Article 279. This term refers to the protection of a regular employee from unjust termination of employment. If security of tenure. B. Unjust termination. C. Unionization. D. Collective bargaining. The answer is. If security of tenure. 2. Article 280. This is the type of employment where the employee has been engaged to perform activities which are usually necessary or desirable in the usual business or trade of the employer. A. Casual employment. B. Regular employment. C. Probationary employment. D. Seasonal worker. The answer is B. Regular employment. 3. Article 281. This type of employment does not exceed six months unless covered by an apprenticeship agreement stipulating a longer period. A. Casual employment. B. Regular employment. C. Probationary employment. D. Seasonal worker. The answer is. C. Probationary employment. 4. Article 282. The following are legal grounds for termination, except. If serious misconduct. B. Gross and habitual neglect of duties. C. Fraud. D. Willful disobedience. E. Crime or offense against his employer. F. Failure to pay personal debts. The answer is F. Failure to pay personal debts. 5. Article 283. In case of termination of an employee due to the installation of labor-saving devices, resulting in redundancy, what is the prescribed period for serving a notice of termination? A. Exactly 10 days before termination. B. The day of the termination. C. 6 months before termination. D. At least 1 month before termination. The answer is D. At least one month before termination. 6. Article 283. How much is the separation pay for employees who are terminated due to the installation of labor-saving devices? A. Equivalent to six months wages. B. At least one month pay or one month pay. For every year of service, whichever is higher. C. They are not entitled to any separation pay. The answer is b. At least one month pay or one month pay for every year of service, whichever is higher. 7. Article 283. How much is the separation pay? For employees who are retrenched due to closure or cessation of operations. a. Equivalent to six months wages. b. At least one month pay or one half month pay for every year of service, whichever is higher. C. They are not entitled to any separation pay. The answer is B. At least one month pay or one half month pay for every year of service, whichever is higher. 8. Article 283. When computing for separation pay, what counts as one full year of service? A. Exactly 12 months. B. At least 6 months. C. At least 1 month. The answer is b. At least six months. 9. Article 284. Is it legal to terminate an employee due to a disease? a. Can no, it is discriminatory. b. Yes, provided that his employment is prejudicial to his health as well as to the health of his co-employees. The answer is b. Yes, provided that his continued employment is prejudicial to his health as well as to the health of his co-employees. 10. Article 285. An employee has to serve a written notice of resignation one month before. The occurrence. Which of the following does not exempt an employee from serving a resignation letter? A. Serious insult by the employer. B. Inhuman and unbearable treatment. C. Commission of crime against the employee. D. Immediate transfer to another. Employer with better compensation offer. The answer is D. Immediate transfer to another employer with better compensation offer does not exempt an employee from writing a notice of termination of employment. 11. Article 287. What is the compulsory retirement age? 
A. 60. B. 65. C. 70. D. 55. The answer is B. 65. 12. Article 287. How much is the retirement pay for employees who have served at least five years in the same establishment? A. The monthly salary times the number of years in service. B. One half monthly salary multiplied by the number of years in service. C. Minimum wage multiplied by number of months in service. The answer is B. One half monthly salary multiplied by the number of years in service. 13. Article 287. Our service incentive. Leads a factor when computing for the retirement pay. A. Yes. B. No. The answer is yes. 14. Article 287. What types of establishments are exempted from granting retirement pay to their employees? A. None. All businesses are required to give their employees a retirement package. B. Retail, service, and agricultural establishments or operations employing not more than 10 employees. The answer is B. Establishments employing not more than 10 employees are not required. 15. Article 291. Money claims are to be filed within how many years of the disputed act between employer-employee? A. Three years. B. Five years. C. Ten years. D. Fifteen years. The answer is within three years, otherwise it shall be forever barred. 16. When and where was the Labor Code enacted? A. Manila, Labor Day in 1974. B. Baguio, January 1, 1950. C. Quezon City, February 25, 1988. D. Manila, December 23, 1965. The answer is F. Manila, Labor Day in 1974.